Welcome back, everyone. Ned Phelps is director of the Center on Capitalism and Society at Columbia University and the 2006 winner of the Nobel Prize in Economics. Ned, we're talking about the debate between the Keynesians and the neoclassicists. Just before the break, you trashed the Keynesians. <laughs> and, and Keynes is popular. There's three new books out on Keynes, and you almost hear the word Keynes on everyone's lips. Let's talk about the neoclassicists, the followers of Hayek. Why are they wrong? Why is a return to free market policies, which you could argue we saw yeah. for years and years and years leading up to this crisis, the wrong way to go about fixing the economy? Even Hayek got off that line, by the way. But um, their idea is that uh, you don't need to worry about maintaining aggregate demand. You can forget about deficiency of aggregate demand at any time, and, and the economy will just self-correct through adjustments and prices so and wages. why is that balderdash? <clears throat> well, it's a half-truth because, yeah, the economy self-corrects, but where does it go in the process? What, what kind of a new equilibrium is it going to find? Is it gonna, are, what is that new equilibrium going to look like? And one of the big mistakes the neoclassicals make is they forget that the structure of the economy is always changing. And the structure may have changed in the past, past 10 years or so without our seeing it, uh, in such a way that we're heading, as we as we get as we recover, we're heading to a new, um, a new let me call it a new normal, a new steady state equilibrium that we won't like very much. So you much. buy that the structural change in the economy <clears throat> has resulted in conditions that are only going to lead us to very tepid growth. Uh, I absolutely buy that. Yeah, I'm a structuralist and I'm a bit of a pessimist about the about the. Uh, the new the new normal that's coming up and the reason uh, my argument is essentially that I th there are signs that the economy has lost its dynamism its uh, urge to innovate or its ability to innovate or both <clears throat> well you published a piece in the <clears throat> FT to that extent which created some very public kickback uh, Paul Krugman another Nobel Prize laureate yeah. saying he posted a blog in response to your FT piece saying on not listening. That was the, the yeah. title of the posting. So he seems to have a completely different view saying that, you know, your argument, as you just outlined, is that <clears throat> all this government stimulus is not really going to change what happens, which is sort of a long, muddy, uh, protracted, just stagnant period. And he's kind of characterizing you as being just anti-stimulus. That's right. I mean, he was uh, painting with too broad a brush. Um, uh, I, I, um, my objection is that neither of these schools, the Keynesian school that, that Paul has discovered in his midlife and, and, and the, and the uh, neoclassical school, uh, neither, neither one of them recognizes structure, the structural changes that, that the economy is uh, susceptible to. And, and we're, I think we're in a bad patch in that respect. Okay, so two quick things. So the, the, the mirage, effectively, or the illusion that people are getting used to is the idea that we can have a full recovery. Is that right, correct? Right. Either by the Keynesian route of a little bit of artificial injection of stimulus or by the natural route of the neoclassicals. When, when do you think we do see improvement, honest improvement in the economy? Well, I, as I say, I think the, the, an upturn is coming pretty quick, faster than most people think. I just, uh, I just think it's going to run out of gas. It's going to, it, we're going to settle down to a, a medium-term uh, equilibrium that is uh, with an unemployment rate of around 6, 7, 7.5%. All right, I'm afraid we've run out of time, but we would love to continue have you back soon. Ned, thank you very much. That is Edmund Phelps, Nobel Laureate in Economics, Director of the Center on Capitalism and Society at Columbia University, trashing the Keynesians and the neoclassicists. You saw it happen right here.